Okay, Lee, welcome to Welling United. How does it feel to be a Wings player? Yeah, delighted. Um, obviously, after Danny Bloor had accepted the job earlier last week, it was um, it was probably inevitable that I would I would come on board and, and, and be one of his first signings. Um, but yes, yeah, um, like, as I said, it's excellent. It's, uh, it's fairly local for me as well, uh, which is nice. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the challenge. What is it about Danny as a manager that, that makes it so such an obvious choice for you to come here and, and help him out? We had a good spell at Eastbourne together. Uh, he brought me into the club at a time, sort of, you know, when I needed a little bit of a, a little bit of love. Uh, and his, his, you know, his energy, his, his enthusiasm, his desire to, to succeed and do well is, is quite a draw for me. Um, we've got a great working relationship, so I look forward to continuing that here. Obviously, you've got a huge amount of experience uh, at this level. A uh, couple of promotions with Maidstone, obviously mm. played above as well with Dover and, and, and Maidstone as well. But how much can that experience help you at a club like Welling ahead of next season when you, the wealth of experience you've got that you can bring here and, and help other players as well? Yeah, hugely. Um, I think it's obviously my experience will, will help the club itself because obviously it's going through a transitional period with a new manager um, and obviously going from daytime training to evening. So there's quite a lot of change and I think it's important that you have experience, especially around younger players coming into the club, players that are already, already here. Um, and also, you know, a plan for me is to sort of help the, help the management team as well. Uh, the goalkeeping department is something that I'll lead uh, and help with recruitment. So my experience, knowledge of the game, knowledge of this level is, I think, will be you know, a valuable asset to, to Danny, to the team uh, and to everyone at Welling United. Obviously, as we said, experienced player, but still so, so hungry to, to get out there and, and play games and to, and to make your mark. And age is just a number, isn't it, as, as you've shown in recent that's, seasons? Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself every morning when I wake up. <laughs> um, no, yes, um, uh, you know, as I've always said, as, as long as I'm playing to a performance that you know, I'm happy with, that the manager's happy with, that the supporters uh, for the club I'm playing for are happy with, then I'll keep continuing to play. I'm, uh, you know, I'm hungry. Um, I, I always want to do well. And as, as you know, as long as, like I said, as long as that keeps on, keeps on happening, then I'll get my gloves on and get myself out there. And pre-season just around the corner, a couple of weeks away now before Charlton, the first game here, which will be a big crowd. You must be looking forward to, to just getting started. Obviously, the, the, the squad needs to be put together, but it will be in time for then. And certainly <coughs> there's still another month after that before the season starts. So it's an exciting time, isn't it? And you must be looking forward to, as I said, just getting that back out on the grass and, and showing what you can do. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think obviously perceptions of situations can alter depending on the person. And I think we, you know you look at it as a clean slate for everyone. Um, it's an exciting time to be part of the football club. It's an exciting time for, for players when they're coming into pre-seasons under a new manager, uh, especially someone like Danny and you know and the, and the backroom team who are going to bring you know energy and enthusiasm to, to all parts of the club. Uh, and I think when you've got when you've got a, a club that's in a transitional period. I think everyone's really, really excited. Everyone's looking forward to it. You, you know, I'm in contact with, with Danny uh, pretty much every day. He's, uh, his excitement holds no bounds. Um, but yeah, I think, you, you know, football's one of, it's like, it's like a drug, isn't it? I think when, when everyone sort of looks forward to having that time off, but then once you've had it, you, you, you're desperate to get back out there and go again.